Yo, what's up, Chatterheads? You see this? There's some really good stuff inside there, but first, we gotta catch it. But I got a question. Are you here for the chowder, or are you here for the fishing? Woo! What's up, happy people? Y'all know what time it is. Hey, y'all have any fried chicken? Uh, fried chicken? No, uh... This is terrible news, folks. But guess what? We got some leftover fried chicken. Hot diggity right there. What mountains are those? Oh, uh, the Kenai Mountains. Kenai Mountain Range. Can we get into this stack of stuff? No, sir. This place is awesome. I think it's funny. Okay, you guys. We got the mermaid in full effect, y'all. Yes, sir. As yeah. usual, we're buying lures that we probably don't, uh, we definitely don't need them, but you, when you walk into a tackle shop, it's pretty much guaranteed you have to buy something. Thank you, boys. We're set, y'all. I had them picked up a mermaid jig. We're ready for them. It's a little chilly out here today, I must admit. A little chilly. That is the lure of the day. It's a mermaid. Let me show y'all the secret weapon. We've got the mermaid and she's gonna get bit. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yo, what's up happy people? We are in the home of the halibut. This is the spit in Homer, Alaska. I've got my mother and father-in-law today, Sarah's mom and dad. They've never done anything like this. So Don is running the boat right now. He's looking at his chart plotter and his bottom machine, trying to figure out exactly where he needs to be. Go ahead. <laughs> We're after a big one today, boys. That's the bait. So I'm using a little bit crazier rig today. That's a 20 ounce lead and it comes down to a spinning glow. This thing is just meant to a, you know, cause a little flash. Then you got a ball bearing swivel and a couple of herring. Drop that out just like that. See how whenever it goes underwater, the current sits there and makes it flutter. Exactly what we're looking for. Now, Don, we're in 90 feet of water, and we're just gonna drop this right straight down to the bottom. There's bottom. Push your drag up, check your drag. The longer we sit here, this current's gonna continue to get slower and slower and slower. Eventually, it'll come to a stop, and then it'll turn around and start coming in. Right now, all this water is flooding out. Every six hours, that current, the tide will change. Here's our bait, y'all. Fresh Alaskan sockeye salmon. But we got a twist. I'm using a J-hook. But to give this thing a little more lifelike, realistic, we got a spinning glow out in front of it, and I think it's gonna get smashed. Watch what this looks like in the water, y'all. See how that just like flutters? That's what we're looking for. There's the bottom, good deal. That right there's the secret weapon, y'all. We're gonna call this the Sarah Lure, Little Mermaid. Little pink mermaid wearing a red skirt and a black hat. <laughs> what you think about that? Don's cutting up some chum. We've got baits in the water. Now we're gonna apply chum. Hopefully this starts just drifting back with the current and draws in some of them big old giant halibut. Go to free spool. Drop her down. Just like that. 
straight down. And then you just reel it up a little bit. All the bait's gonna fall right out and just start drifting back. Okay, you just reel your chum bomb up and good to go. There's your chum bomb. Put your hand on it. He's about to eat it. Real, 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 real. Oh, you got him. You got him. Yes. Yes. What do we have here? What do we have? We have the first halibut of the day. And he's a halibut. Done. Over the rail and in the pail. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I have a feeling this is just going to be the start of the madness. How, how, how much is that? I met this guy at the grocery store and we've become really good friends. But uh, this is just a little guy, so why don't you just go toss him back in the water? She's allowed to keep two, but I want one that's going to make her grunt and groan. Come on, bro. Perfect. Hold on. It's nice. I honestly say you got a halibut in Alaska. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? It is awesome. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Is that too fast? No. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Woo! I just bought this jig this morning and uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it out. So I dropped her down. Gave it a little wiggle. Pow! Got him. <sighs> Fighting like a walleye. <laughs> Could be a perch. Oh, it's a halibut. Oh, it's a halibut. Yes, yeah, sir. Over the rail and in the pail. And you set the hook, you're going to pull it out of his mouth. So if you let him eat it, and he turns on it, see where that hook's going? Right in the corner of his mouth. Yeah. So. You gotta let him take it. On you got that one. fish. You got that fish. That's gonna be a bigger one. Yeah, girl. That's a better fish there. Oh, yeah, you got your nice one now, Donnie. What? <laughs> I'm just gonna hold this thing for you. How did Aria do this? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Unreal. He's, he's taking it. He's taking it. Oh, oh, golly! Look, he's coming. Up. If you, if uh, you, you got a here. nice one, get the gap. Hold on, hold him right there. Hold him right oh, there. Hold I him just... right there. I know. I know. Hold him right there. You're in the gap. Get in there, boy. There you go, Donnie. If you would have been holding on that rod, I would have been like. <laughs> I would have been in the water. Hold on, hold on everybody, hold on. Don't get all excited, I got to hold. Oh, just got nailed. Eat that, eat it. Salmon head. Keith, get this one, get over here. This is going to be a nice fish. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, okay, he's trying it, just yeah, let him eat it. Me. Yeah, I see that. I got him. You got him? Yes, I do. Good job. This guy, oh, this is going to be a nice fish. This is going to be a nice one. On the salmon head. This is unreal. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Being left handed, though, ain't cool. <laughs> Ooh, he's taking drag on you. Taking drag on you. First time I've ever taken my fault, my, my in-laws out fishing. Got my bro Don Coatney who invited us on his boat. And uh, if he gets this fish, they'll be limited out. <laughs> my best. Don, this is a good one here. Holy nice fish. Crazy. Holy creepy. Nice fish. He's taking drag out. <laughs> nice fish. <sighs> Getting real close now. Oh, dude, this is this is one to remember here. 
Here comes your leader. I see him. Oh, here he is, right here. I can see him. Okay, stop now. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh yes, this is definitely the biggest fish of the day. And we might need a dart for this fish. This is a good one. Okay, ooh, 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 easy, easy, easy. Look at this, over the rail and in the pail. Hey, 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 what do you think about that? Nice. Oh, what'd you think about that, y'all? Awesome. Thanks, guys. Here, where's your bat? There, he's done. <laughs> Did you just get... <laughs> I just popped eye juice all over my face. That was cool. I've never seen that happen before. Have you ever seen that happen? No. I thought I broke something, but it was his eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> you got it in your mouth. <laughs> oh, God, that's gross. Joey Alaska, here's your brother right here. Woo! This is our fish here. Let me get this out of the way. Thank you, Don. Yep. No problem, Don. <laughs> That's a big fish. Get that one. Oh man! Oh, oh, it's a big skate. Oh, but guess what? We're eating him too. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Where's the gap? Hold on here. This is definitely coming into the hill. There we go. Look at that big old skate. Hey, you want to know what's funny? This is the only fish Aria has wanted to catch that she has not caught. Really? <laughs> so, this is one of the most gnarly fish in the world. These are all like super crazy thorns and rough spots. But the wing like is jello. full of some of the best meat. So you take your knife, stay on the outside of that. Follow this all the way around, just like that. Then, he's the, he is dead. It's just, it's, I'm touching his nerves and his wing. Just like you're cleaning a halibut, just like you're cleaning a halibut, you're just running your knife just like that. And then you'll, you'll feel the little bones along the way. There you go. You gonna try it, Brian? It's like bricks. Isn't that cool? That cartilage is what helps him like fly along And I'm gonna turn this into a fish chowder. It's gonna be so good. So once these fine gentlemen get all this fish all cleaned up and ready to go, they're gonna take it inside and package it. See, now my mother and father-in-law, they need fish at their house. So they're gonna vacuum seal this, and then we'll overnight it to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. It's a well-oiled machine right here, y'all. You know, if you're driving through this area, in between Soldatna and Homer, this is Nanilchik, this is Jason Tanner, this is, the name, this is the man himself. The sign out front has his name on it. And whenever you walk in here, he's always working. I met him at the cash register. It's amazing that these fish we just caught them right out there, you know, a couple hours ago. Filet them up, package them. They will overnight them to Oshkosh, and tomorrow they'll be sitting there at their house ready to go. So, yeah, I've been wanting to make chowder all summer long. Okay, so we've got some seasoned water. 
Whew, and some steam. That's just a couple cups of diced baby red potatoes. Covered up. Mm-hmm. Take it out of there. That's more than what we need. But look how nice that is. I just want to dry it all off. See how they're all like individual pretty little muscles? We can just take and just start pulling them off. Just like that. Mmm. This is going to be so good. It's so much easier to do it with your fingers than a knife. With a knife, you'd keep getting all the silver skin. With your fingers, you peel it right out. And I like to leave the pieces nice and dangly just like that. Our potatoes should be nice and tender. Not totally cooked, but you know, nice and tender. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. In the meantime, we need to brown our fish. So while our skate wing browns, we want to give it a nice sear. I'm going to use some of this. It's a hickory smoked wild boar tasso made by Gamekeeper Butchery. This is a mossy oak product, and I guarantee you this is a game changer. That's a nice piece of cured ham. Cut it like this, and we will look at how nice that is. Now we'll take our tasso. Oh, what do you mean? Looks good to me. Look good to you? Looks good to me. We're going to leave that right there. Yeah. Take about uh, that much butter, onion, celery, a little bit of fresh chopped garlic. Everything's getting tender. It's ready to add a half a cup of flour. Once it's all incorporated, we're gonna add one and a half cups of clam juice and let that just start coming together. Now we're gonna do approximately one and a half cups of milk and two cups of heavy whipping cream. Now we're gonna simmer that for about five or 10 minutes. As our chowder starts to heat up, we're gonna add a little basil and I couldn't find fresh basil, so we'll just use a little bit of this. Looks good. We're gonna use some thyme. Oh yes. We're gonna use about equal parts on that. Marjoram leaf. Oh boy. And dill. Let her start incorporating. The aroma is absolutely amazing. Now we're gonna add our potatoes. Woo! Last but not least, that's the happy. That's our skate. Oh yes. Look at this. <laughs> oh baby. Now we're just gonna let that just simmer slowly for until I'm too hungry to wait anymore. So we'll let you know when that happens. Oh, look at this. So I just got a call from Jason. He's on his way over right now. And the cool thing about this whole video is that yesterday afternoon, we were over at Don's house. The kids were playing. We were having a great time. And I made them one of my favorite recipes. We did coconut crusted halibut, which is basically halibut filet that... You roll in flour, then egg wash, then fresh coconut. You pan fry it, and then you can eat it with or without a sauce, but it's absolutely delicious. But for this video, I just wanted to get a little bit more in depth, and I wanted to do something a little bit more special. So we made skate chowder. What do you think? Welcome. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> 
how's it going? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Literally, I was sitting there, I was like, as soon as he knocks, I'm opening the door. Okay, my bro. Here we go. We got you something special. Got to give you a big knocks for everything yesterday. When you get really good fish, there's a lot of work that goes into packaging it properly. And so I wanted to say thank you. So I made you lunch. <laughs> when was the last time you had skate chowder? Um, never. Never. Never had it. But you've always wanted it, I can tell. Oh, definitely. So you get some of that chowder with some of that loving goodness. Put you some cheese right in the middle there. Put you some, there you go. Take some saltine crackers, put that all around the edge. You make it look pretty like this. <laughs> and then you say, there you are, bro. Awesome. Skate chowder. Oh, that's good. I think this is better than almost any chowder I've had. Yeah? Yeah, easily. What do you think? It's, I think it's awesome. Yeah? Yep. I'm Have you tasted any of the skate though? Does it? I did. Taste it. It's almost like a clam. Mm -hmm. It's is what it's real. It yeah. reminds me of, especially in chowder. It kinda, really? It kind of has a, it doesn't have the texture of like regular fish. It's, mm -hmm. it's almost a little stringy, but like in a good way. So it does follow like a clam. Cool. More than well, that's perfect, man. Dude, I want to say thank you very much. Listen, if you guys are fishing anywhere, Saldat, not Homer, in the Nilchik area, swing by and see him. It's Tanner Seafood. These guys rock. They've got all kinds of really cool stuff. And he's just a really good guy. So I love doing business with really good dudes. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yesterday, Don, you're awesome. Adrian, Hunter, thank you so much for having us into your home. Cooking out last night was just amazing, and it was just what the doctor ordered. But, uh... Now Sarah is with her parents, they're in Homer. I'm gonna let this chowder just simmer and marinate for the next few hours, and when they get home, it should be amazing. But uh, what a great day. That's what the outdoors are all about. Friends, family, having a good time, eating good food, and uh, making memories. But for that, I say take care, God bless, and we are what? Gone. <laughs> wow. Hey, Mr. Leader, what's up with that? She comes to Alaska to <laughs> smashing butts. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish. Oh. Is that your biggest fish? Yes, it is. Oh, Thank you, Rob. <laughs>